While the rap industry was still pulling through from the posthumous celebration of young Dolph's birthday, another rapper was tragically murdered in the same way that killed him. Louisiana rapper Jay Youngin was shot and killed right outside of his home. The craziest part of Jay's shooting is that his father was also shot. Now fans cannot help but ask what mix they may have gotten into. Keep watching till the end of this video to see why Jada Youngin and his father were really shot. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Louisiana's rap industry took a blow on Wednesday, 27th of July, 2022, when the 24-year-old rapper Javarius Scott was shot and killed outside of his home. Social media went wild with the reports circulating online. At about 5.50 p.m., the Bagalusa Police Department received several calls to report a shooting that happened in the 600 block of Superior Avenue. According to the statement from the police department, officers responded to the call where they found one victim who was immediately transported to an emergency room. He had suffered severe bullet wounds and lost a lot of blood before a first aid helicopter came to transport him to the hospital. However, there was another victim on the scene who they described as critically wounded, but he was able to receive treatment at the crime scene. The initial reports of the police did not identify the victims. However, witnesses claimed on social media that it was, in fact, Jade Youngin that was shot and taken to the emergency room. Several hours after the rumors surfaced online, the Bagalusa Police Department released a statement identifying the victims. In the statement, they said, We can now identify the victims as Javarius Scott, aka Jade Youngin. We can also confirm that Javarius Scott has died as a result of his injuries. Jade Youngin's Family Reaction July 27th was undoubtedly a tragic day for the Scott family, as not only was Jay DeYoungin shot and killed, but even his father, Kenyatta Scott, was shot during the incident. According to the police reports, Jay's father was the other person at the scene who received immediate treatment before being taken to the hospital. The statement read, We can now identify the victims as Javarius Scott, aka Jay DeYoungin, and his father, Kenyatta Scott Sr. Kenyatta Scott has been transported to another facility, and we have been told he is in stable condition. Rumors began spreading on social media claiming that the rapper had passed away even before the official announcement of his death. But Jay's sister Kenya quickly took to her Instagram to shut down those claims. She replied to a tweet that announced the rapper's death and said, Shut up. Y'all don't know what the f y'all talking about for real. Ain't nobody f dead, she continued. Stop f eating and go read a book. Kenya said in her final tweet about the situation, I hate you internet freak. Stop trying to confirm y'all don't know. However, after it was officially confirmed, Kenya took to her Instagram to share a couple of memories of her brother in pictures and videos. She wrote in the caption of the Instagram post, Javorius, no way they took you from me like this. I'm sick to my stomach. They wanted this. They wanted to see you like this, bro. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. Sister is so hurt. I literally watched you grow from the ground up with this rapping you was the goat in my eyes, especially from where we come from, baby. I'm so sorry. Jay, you literally hurt us with it. Dog, this cannot be life. I got JR, and I love you so much. 23 forever, and I'm standing on it. His sister wasn't the only member of the rapper's family to share her grief on social media. The rapper's girlfriend, Karina V, also shared her tribute via Instagram. This year has no doubt been one hell of a roller coaster for her. Karina and Jay lost their newborn child barely a month ago on Father's Day. She would have never imagined having to say goodbye to Jay that soon. Karina took to her Instagram to share memories of her and Jay together. She wrote in the caption of the post, Thank God my last words to you were I love you. I hope you know how much though. I'm so hurt, Bay. How could you leave me like that? I would have never left you, ever. One thing we could do is make each other smile. Such a kind-hearted, sweet soul. The thing I admired about you most is you forgave, always, and that's all that really matters by. That's what God wants the most out of everyone, so I know you made him proud. She shared how deeply hurt she was after losing her child not too long ago, and now had to bear the pain of losing someone she loved. She continued, first Mozzie, now I don't know how I can keep going. I'm so hurt. My best friend, my headache, my husband, my everything, my baby. You didn't deserve this, I still can't believe it. Watch over Mozzie for me, my love. Rappers and fans react. 
Jay to Youngin's fans took to social media to express their shock over his death. Some of his fans couldn't help but point out how young he was and how much potential he had. However, one of his fans took his death personally against Jay's ex-girlfriend, Jordan B., who is the mother of his child. The fan wrote, Jordan B. wished death on J.D. Youngin's new baby, and the baby died, and now J.D. Youngin died. The words you speak are so powerful, and karma is too real. That's so crazy to me. Jordan B. wasn't very happy to hear about Karina V.'s pregnancy for Jay, so she cursed out both J.D. Youngin and Karina, and openly wished that the rapper and his child with Karina would die. She has faced criticism and backlash on social media since Jay passed away. She, however, reacted to his death via a couple of tweets where she said, Thankful I was able to see slash spend time together with him and our son, who knew that morning would have been our last time seeing him. In another tweet, she wrote, I'm hurt, bad. We went through so much since 2017. My first love, my first everything. I will never be the same. Louisiana rapper Lil Boosie, aka Boosie Badass, was one of the first rappers to speak on Jada Youngin's death publicly. He wrote, Tip Jada Youngin prayers for your family, Lil. Night we did cancer. Florida rapper Julio Fulio had a reaction of his own to Jay's death. He posted on his Instagram story, RIP Jada Youngin, you will be missed, lol. While fans were still trying to wrap their head around why Julio Fulio would use lol in the post, Julio followed with another post where he wrote, Dude used to diss me just to be cool with the ops, even got them boys' name tatted now, look. Julio ended the write-up with a laughing emoji. No doubt, he was referring to Young Geen Ace. Young Geen Ace and Jay were on good terms, and both rappers had several tracks together. However, Young Geen Ace and Julio Fulio had beef for ages. Who killed Jay to Youngin? At this time, investigations of the shooting are still ongoing. However, the authorities have not ruled out the possibility of gang violence. Another shooting occurred shortly after they received the distress call of the shooting at Jay to Youngin's home and they believe that both shootings have a connection. The authorities released a statement saying, while working a chaotic scene at the hospital and working the crime scene on Superior Avenue, another shooting took place in the 800 block of Marshall Richardson Road shortly after 7 p.m. In that case, a vehicle was shot, possibly related to the first shooting. The occupants were not hit. Detectives are also actively working that crime scene. This is a very fluid situation and the information we can release is limited at this time. Our officers are working diligently to identify the subjects responsible for these crimes. We have several outside agencies assisting at this time. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.